Come along with me and my family for a weekend in Atlantic City, New Jersey. We got here Thursday night at the Borgata, and we had some late night snacks while we were gambling. The next morning, we had lunch at the Beer Garden, where I made this TikTok, which you can find on my page. It's a Korok sound. We saw this very fun seagull hanging out in the parking lot. He was a friend. We Ubered over to the boardwalk and took a picture in front of this sign. This was the sign for Super Frico and the hook. We walked the boardwalk where we saw this very friendly swirl. We walked from Caesars down to the Ocean Casino. And we stopped at the Showboat Arcade. I wanted to look through it. It was basically a Dave and Buster's, but for children. Everything looked fun, but very expensive. Glad I was not a child when this was around. Here we are walking in the rain, me and my parents and my husband. And we could see the island water park from the boardwalk. And here we are at the Ocean Casino. We spent a couple hours here gambling, walking around, enjoying the sights. It was kind of rainy out. Here we are back at the Borgata for nighttime. My husband and I decided to walk from the Borgata to Harris which is not too far, maybe a 15 minute walk from there along the estuary where we saw this super fun beaver. He was also such a friend and we had so much fun watching him. Look at him go. There's a really nice paved path in between Harris and the Borgata along the estuary. And here's where I sat at Harris while I waited for Zach to finish playing craps. It was a bar called Eden. Later in the night, I was playing Heidi's Beer Garden with my parents, which is the best sound. The next afternoon, we had lunch at the Metropolitan Cafe at the Borgata. Got some burgers. And then we went to the pool at the Water Club, which I think is now called the MGM Tower. Can't keep up with these name changes, but it's a very nice pool, some heated outdoor pools. Pretty hotels. And the water was looking beautiful that night. Come back for part two. This is part two of our weekend in Atlantic City. Saturday night, we went to dine at Super Frico and see the show The Hook at Caesars. We started off in this crowded lounge and went back to our seats. There's a picture of Zach and a picture of myself. We were in the dressing room. They had a little bit of entertainment, not as much as in Vegas. I got the pasta bolognese and my husband got chicken parm with the pomodoro spaghetti. Everything was really tasty, but very expensive again. This is my husband showing off some of his dance moves for an Indian wedding that he's going to be in next week. It's very fun. After dinner, the waitress let us look around some of the other rooms. This was the back room. This was some lights in the middle. Everything is old Hollywood themed. Then we went to the yard to hang out at Bally's. We had some time to kill before the hook show at nine. This was a cool outdoor area that was like a party going on inside and some outdoor games you could play. We were having a nice little time dancing, enjoying the nice weather by the beach. Then we went inside to look at the Bally's Casino. I hadn't been here in so many years. It looks mostly the same, but there's a spinning carousel bar, which was fun to watch. I had this on a time lapse so you could see all the people moving. And they were really strict at the hook about not using cell phones, but they let you record the closing number so you could see some of the different acts. I've only ever seen Absinthe by the same company, and comparing the hook to Absinthe, Absinthe was worlds better, shouldn't even be in the same category. The comedy was better, it was more polished, it was funnier. Uh, this just felt kind of safe and incoherent. It wasn't as edgy as the one in Vegas was. And uh, honestly, we were kind of disappointed by the whole thing of it. I wouldn't really recommend seeing the hook to anyone. Our seats were an obstructed view, even though the tickets didn't say that, so I had half a mind to ask for a partial refund, at least. After the show, we walked around Caesars a little bit, and I had to show you a people mover. My OG fans that have been here since Vegas know how much I love a people mover. 